It's Artistic Nick, thanks for the click. In today's drawing video, I'm going to be drawing three Generation 1 Transformers using Copic markers and coloured pencils. Hey there guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a great weekend. This is a drawing that I did a couple of weeks ago now. Uh, it took me quite a long time to do it and I was really excited to do it. I'm really, really into Transformers. Uh, it's one of my fondest childhood memories um, and I thought I'd have a go at doing a three-in-one piece. So what I've actually done is I've found a few reference images and I've chopped and changed them and I've actually come up with sort of my own piece. So uh, this is something that I'm really quite proud of. It took me quite a long time. So I started out by using a grid method and uh, freehanding the sketching. I'm using an HB pencil for this. But what I really would suggest that you do when you are doing a freehand work um, or any of your sketch work to start with is, is use an H pencil, so either a 2H or a 4H, and press on very lightly. This way you're going to make sure that you're not marking the paper too much and it's going to be very easy for you to erase any of the lines that you've gone wrong with. So the three pictures or the three characters that you can see me drawing here going from left to right, I've got Prowl, the one in the middle is Jazz, which was one of my favourite Transformers growing up, and the character on the right hand side is a character called Red Alert. Uh, these are Generation 1 Transformers, uh, and I thought they'd be really nice to do because we're sort of coinciding with the new Bumblebee movie which is coming out uh, later on uh, in November I believe it is, or early December. So. I'm really looking forward to that film and, and the great thing about it is a lot of the characters in there are Generation 1 characters. So unlike the Michael Bay Transformer movies which were uh, very different to uh, the, the Transformers that certainly I grew up with, these are going to be all Generation 1 Transformers. So really, uh, really into the art style and the way that they look. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. I'll talk you through the rest of the process of how I'm starting to get some of the colour and the contours. I spent a lot of time on this drawing using the coloured pencils. So I start off by inking the lines in using a permanent liner, fine liner. It's very important that you are changing the thickness of some of the lines just to give a slight sense of realism and contour in certain areas. And then for the bulk of this I'm using my Copic markers. In a, a video that I released last week, I did go through all of the equipment that I'm using and I actually have a 72 set of Copic markers and it's set A. So the colours that I'm using, I'm going through all of the greys, that's one of the most uh, used colours that I, I do actually use. I use the cool grey 3, 5 and 7 uh, with black in the darkest areas as well. I went through with the crimson reds, I used the lipstick red in certain areas as well. And for the lighter areas, I'm actually using a cool grey 3 rather than leaving it white. The, the trick is when you're trying to get something looking white that, ha that has a little bit of dimension and contour is to actually make sure that you bring a contrast up around it. So what I'm doing now on Prowl, as you can see, is I'm darkening the areas in and around the shoulders, uh, in and around the recesses and at the, the bottom of the bonnet. And that actually then gives you a look that the that the rest of the area is a slightly whiter colour. And this is something that I do an awful lot, even if this is, was a graphite drawing. One of the things that you must do when you are uh, doing any kind of fine art or cartoon work is try not to leave anything absolutely white. When you leave something white, it, white it's very similar to making something all completely black and it actually gives you a very flat look. And what we're looking for, even if it is cartoon work, is a sense of dimension and contour. So leaving something white doesn't allow that. In fact, the only thing that I ever really truly leave white would be the, uh, the shine in somebody's eye, uh, and that gives a sense of, of light shining off of it. But everything else, we're going to always try and have some sort of value in there. And in this case, it's a uh, cool grey three. Now, as you can see, I'm actually using some coloured pencils as well. And what I really find is, is very, very useful is, is the black and the white uh, Prismacolor pencils. Uh, I also have some luminance pencils as well. So anything uh, that's kind of slightly waxy, it, it does tend to lay down really well over the Copic markers. And what I'm doing is I'm bringing added dimension and added shading into certain areas, as you can see now uh, with, the, with the jazz character. I've gone over the darkest areas with the black and then I'm just starting to go over some of the lighter areas uh, actually with the white itself. And this again just adds dimension and shape to it. So this is a technique that I use quite a lot. 
I do also sometimes just use the Copic markers, but I thought for this piece, I wanted a sense of, of realism, even though they are cartoon characters, and I found the best method for this is using the Prismacolor or the Caran d'Ache pencils over the top of the Copic markers. But one tip you must do, make sure that you do let the ink dry. I have gone over sometimes uh, wet ink, and it, it does tend to stick and smudge. So make sure that the Copic marker ink is dry, uh, and you should get a really nice finish. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying the videos and the content that I've recently been uh, putting out there. It's been so much fun drawing uh, a lot of the characters I've been doing recently. Don't forget, I am doing request videos, so if you've got something you'd like me to draw or a tutorial you'd like me to cover, don't forget, leave me a comment down below. I'd really appreciate a like or a thumbs up uh, on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're into art, if you're into art videos, but maybe that's anime, realistic drawings, uh, then hit that subscribe button. My channel's doing really well at the minute and I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that I've been getting. Don't forget I'm also on social media. The links to all of my social media platforms are down below in the description, so it would be great to connect with you over on there. All in all, this drawing took me about 15 hours from start to finish. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I'm hoping that this is going to be uh, one of the drawings that Who Art Now, which is a local business to me over in Leicestershire in England, is going to take this on and produce some copies of it. There's my finished piece. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Hit subscribe, smack the notification button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.